Okay, so we're on our way to the airport now. It's like uh, 55 or 56 kilometers outside of Kuala Lumpur to the international airport. We have a flight with Air Asia. We had tons of time, no stress this morning, and that's kind of nice. I'm stoked to get to Chiang Mai. We have an apartment that's rented for an entire month there. And the coolest thing is, today is actually the last day of the Lantern Festival that they have that's really popular in Northern Thailand. And so we'll probably get to see that tonight as well. So super stoked to get to Thailand, even though this trip to Kuala Lumpur was way too short. So I'm a little bit suspicious because there's no way we just went through security. There was like a security right after the immigration office and the guy was like, don't bother taking off your jacket, don't bother taking stuff out of your pockets, we just want you to put your bag on the like conveyor belt and go through screening. So it's possible that was only customs and we haven't gone through airport security yet. It's either that or this is the most lax airport security in the history of airport security. So I think we still have one more security to go through. Thank you. Thank you. It would be rude to deny a girl her Starbucks. And don't tell anybody, but I kind of like it too. This place behind me is advertising the best durian in the world. That's like saying the best prison in the world. So it turns out there is a proper airport security as well here. It's behind us. And the funniest thing happened. You guys know I have my pride that I have on the fact that I've never beeped through airport security. I went through, never beeped, Jody beeped. She forgot to take off her belt. The street continues, a la Jode. Days without beeping at airport security, zero. What did you say? We're off. Time to fly to Chiang Mai. So we're in a tuk-tuk with all our luggage. This is ridiculous. So we made it to Chiang Mai, we're at our apartment. I've honestly just been spending the afternoon being super boring and domestic. I even did laundry. Look at all the laundry I did. I'm so domesticated, I'm a man of the house. Our apartment here in Chiang Mai is really cool. I'll show you guys it, I'll show you guys the neighborhood and everything like that over, I don't know, I guess in the next episode maybe. Right now it's the Lantern Festival. And actually the biggest day of the Lantern Festival was yesterday and Jody and I were a little bit worried that like we were gonna miss it. But we found out from a friend that used to live here that it's still going down and it should be good down at one of the bridges on the edge of the city wall. So we've got some like catching up to do, some grocery shopping to do, some organizing to do, some unpacking to do. Basically, we have a bunch of stuff to do. Then we're gonna jump in a bit of public transportation and head towards the Lantern Festival, and hopefully it's amazing. If I'm being kind of honest with you guys, I have 
lower expectations than I should have. I kind of feel like it might be one of those things that's a little bit overrated, but I could be wrong. So I guess let's get organized and then head towards the Lantern Festival. Surprising, but we did find one of these kind of shared taxis and we've seen quite a lot of them around um, and they're kind of just like with sideways seats like this you just get in the back and they just take you around the city we've paid 13 baht each to go pretty close to where the parade is happening This is actually pure magic. We're just walking towards the river and behind us, the lanterns are all flying above us, kind of like stars. It's really, really special actually. The full moon's up there with them as well. Really cool. Everywhere you look at this festival, there's lights, there's food, there's people, and there's just this excitement, this atmosphere, and I want to capture it. I mentioned a couple episodes ago that I'm shooting for an exhibit that's gonna be in a hotel in a couple months and that I wanted all my photos for that exhibit to be from this month in Thailand. I want to capture this spirit. I want to capture this energy. And to do that, I'm gonna do it on a wide angle lens. I'm gonna try to start shooting this festival at 16 to 35 millimeters. I wanna capture that almost cliche image of people sending their lantern off into the sky. It's a cliche, but it's kind of also kind of awesome. I'm having so much fun, but I still haven't gotten the shot I want. I tried going with a 50 millimeter, but it just wasn't wide enough. And I tried doing something a little bit fun because I noticed that all the locals aren't just like launching up the lanterns. They all have to Instagram it. So as they're launching, they're also Instagramming as they're going up. So I was kind of trying to focus on that aspect of things instead of trying to hide the modernity of it all, the modernity, if that's a word, of it all, I was trying to include it into my shots with a 50 mil. And then with a wide angle, it was just, yeah, it was tough. So um, that area was tough. It actually looks like there's an abundance of lanterns coming from farther down the river. So we're gonna go farther down the river, try one more spot before calling it a night. You're gonna be my photographer? Future photographer right here. <laughs> So the Lantern Festival was uh, unreal. It was unbelievable. It was so much fun. But what hasn't been fun recently is my mic. And I actually think it's my vlogging camera. I think the port for my mic on my vlogging camera is shot because one clip would have audio, the next one wouldn't. So in this video, you might have noticed that I supplemented some of the audio with a bit of voiceover. I also used Jody. And thank God Jody has started vlogging so I could actually take that clip and throw it in there. Big thanks to Jody for filming and for vlogging. And if you haven't checked out her channel, there is a video live now. She posted her first vlog yesterday, her intro video. So be sure to go and check that out. Now, 
To talk about the Lantern Festival, I mentioned at the start that I thought it was going to be overrated. It wasn't. The Lantern Festival was magic. It was pure magic. It was fantastic. It was unreal. But I found it really hard to photograph. And part of that is that I have a lot of friends that have shot the Lantern Festival here in Chiang Mai and they've got unreal photos, like mind-blowing photos. And so when I see their photos, I want to not only shoot stuff as good as them, I want to do better because I'm competitive. When I was heading home from the Lantern Festival, I didn't think that I had an image I was happy with, proud enough of, that I'd be willing to hang on an exhibit or in a gallery. At the end of the day, I have at least one, maybe two, that I'd be stoked to put up. So I'm extremely happy with the way it went. If you guys ever come to Chiang Mai for the Lantern Festival, a bit of advice. There's actually two Lantern Festivals. One of them's put on by like a pretty controversial Buddhist sect out at the university. And it's actually really expensive to do. It's like $100 or $200 to get a ticket to see that. And they do a mass Lantern um, release I guess and that's where most people get their amazing photos from most of the vloggers most of the travel photographers they go to that event and I don't think it's cheating it's a cool event it's a cool thing to go do but if you want the real experience go to downtown Chiang Mai do it in Chiang Mai because you'll have a much more authentic and less of a show kind of put on for tourists and photographers. You'll still get great images, it's maybe a bit more of a challenge, but it'll be so much fun. What also is going to be fun is that there's an airport right here and the planes fly right overhead. Not so good when I'm talking, but maybe I'll be able to take a cool photo of that at some point. What also is going to be fun is the life here in Chiang Mai. Have a month here, living the expat life for a month. I'm going to go on some excursions to other towns like Pai and Chiang Rai and maybe an island getaway and I'm going to kind of live life and chill out and get caught up on work. There's going to be lots of vlogs, there's going to be lots of fun and I'm beyond excited for life in Chiang Mai. I can't even explain how nice it feels to be here. I feel my skin is better, I feel my attitude is better, I feel my stomach feels less stress. I just feel so good and I'm excited to see where this month leads me and there should probably be like at least 10 or 15 vlogs from Chiang Mai. As you guys probably know if you've been following the channel really closely, I'm not doing fully daily anymore but it's pretty close to daily. Basically the only day that I'm not vlogging for sure is Friday. And then every now and then I'll take a Tuesday or a Wednesday off as well. So at least five days a week, sometimes six, and I guess that's it. A lot of talking at the end of this video. I'm kind of making up for it since the audio kind of failed on me a little bit today. So um, I guess that's it. And I guess I'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode where I'm going to show you a little bit of my life here in Chiang Mai. I'll see you later. Peace.